what's up beautiful people listen Darama, welcome to the channel today we're going to be checking this video and it's titled prince harry should shut his mouth singer don mclean publicly slams the duke hmm. i wonder what he's got to say regarding this but this is interesting though i'm excited to check this one out to hear what they've got to say let's check it out talk about uh, harry and Meghan, who uh, don't seem to be able to stay out of the news for longer than than 30 seconds. Um, this is the American singer Don McLean. Now, he has now given an interview to The Mail, basically saying that he doesn't... He, he, he doesn't really think that Harry should keep banging on about his family. Uh, in fact, at the time he took to Twitter to say Prince Harry should shut his mouth about uh, uh, various issues and now criticizing him even more what can you tell us about that well one of the things that uh, don mclean uh, uh, an artist i'm particularly fond of because i first ever album i bought was his american pie and he has though let's be quite clear before i get to the meat he's had his controversies in his time um and particularly with the break surrounding the breakup of his second marriage and uh, one or two uh, allegations that he had to deal with but what he's had a go at and it sort of resurfaced is he criticized harry for his criticism of graceland and elvis's house which basically paraphrasing harry didn't think was up to much and don mclean has gone round and said well um look this was a man who came from nothing you shouldn't be criticizing him he is the king of rock and roll whereas you of course live in a sort of gilded palace and have no right to criticize one of the greatest musicians of the 20th century so i think that's where it's come from and don mclean obviously famous for american pie and one or two other songs as well along the way um but uh, it, he's entered the fray but as i say don mclean great musician but he does have has attracted controversy but he's another one who's had a pop at harry who is saying that now he's come to america he should have no right to be criticizing american institutions he should just accept that he's come there and just get on with his life well th this is the actual quote you're quite right um he, he says to the daily mail he doesn't understand and this is such a, a, a an insult he doesn't understand that elvis is like the poor man's king he came from nowhere his recordings are among the greatest ever made his family was were as poor as they could be and Harry criticised Elvis's home as if he's comparing it to Buckingham Palace, and that misses the point completely. Here's a fellow who has been brought up to be mannerly, but you don't criticise America when you're living here as our guest. Um, I think that it's pretty damning um, from Don McLean, um, who's re released a new album, so I'm sure it'll put some eyeballs up uh, and people wanting to buy his new album maybe i'll be i'll be buying that another do, do, one do, of do, it, but... <laughs> but yo this um prince harry and mega Miko's nigerian tour and whatever they have going on um it's, it's not uncommon to see that lots of people have their thoughts regarding this and lots of people are angry with what they have going on because let's be honest when people notice and see that you would disrespect your home your family and everything and act like nothing but go somewhere else and act like they are your new family and all of that it means that if you can turn on the people you've known all your life then all of a sudden you feel like some stranger that you don't know you've never met before you're just acting as family and all of that then people start asking questions because what is to say that you won't turn on these people at the slightest opportunity when you have when somebody start gives you giving you attention because obviously they've been moving from one place to the other and at this point they all they practically have called almost every place they've gone to their home so at this point nobody is understanding what is going on is it that they don't have a home anymore or they everywhere and now belongs to them I'm, I'm honestly asking this question but i mean it's not surprising that lots of people are just coming to ask this question because people are tired of seeing all of this and it's not even making sense it's not bringing or presenting a good image so so it's not presenting a good image but again let me know what your thoughts are regarding this what do you think about this harry and 
Megan Merkel Marco because honestly none of it is making sense honestly at this point it is not making sense because when you look at the things or you look at it you'll be like okay after this what next but let's go on I mean, do, 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 do you think that Harry and Meghan will ever stop moaning? Will ever stop complaining about various things? There are others, I swear to, they're going to complain to you that the sky is the wrong <laughs> colour blue. Um, well, they're now trying to paint that everything is going well. They're sort of putting a positive spin on their Nigerian trip and that they're, they're, they're looking forward. They're trying now, and I'm sure their PR people are telling them, right, you've done your royal bashing, time to move on and... If, and Put sort of a line under that and it's all about looking forward now and that's what they're trying to do is to be seen to be now a positive influence that's what they'll be spinning from their nigerian trip um i have no idea whether it went down brilliantly in nigeria i'm sure there was some controversial aspects but the optics well, uh, especially the, the cost I would have the point of view, they'll be saying it looked good from our perspective and they'll say they'll be doing more of those in the future um even though uh, so as far as I can see, there will be that will just mean more word salad coming out of their mouth. So, um, yes. but maybe uh, so lovely, all, so all lovely all... to see Meghan, such an advocate for women's rights, going to a country where, of course, there is uh, horrific human rights abuses, which they choose not to mention when they're being treated like rock stars. And I thought now that they're not royals, they can speak out about these sorts of things. But funnily enough, when they've got people being sycophantic around them, quite tight-lipped, isn't that strange? Uh, that that is exactly uh, the point. They basically want to stage manage everything. Yes. They want they want to have control of the True. narrative at, at all times and to be painting this sort of perfect picture uh, of their sort of philanthropy in and good work that they're doing in 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 this case in Nigeria. So it's a it, they've got a fine line to sort of make it work on a big scale but, but even that nigeria trip you felt it was supposed to be about the invictus games but the real narrative of all of it was that megan was seen to be at center stage and that was the problem when she was part of the royal family they were part of the royal family she didn't like being the number two because obviously when they were on a royal visit it was harry and she was there as the other half well now she wants to be the number one and Harry just to the sort follow. of, in some cases, just yes. tag along. You get the feeling that's sometimes how it sort of portrays, even though this trip had Invictus Games at the heart of it as the plan that they would be going uh, to try and stage the Invictus Games uh, four, or five, four or six years down the line. Oh, well, poor old Hopalong Harry. Maybe he'll get his time in the spotlight uh, soon. Maybe at the launch of American Riviera when they try and sell us tea towels and teapots. Uh, listen, good to talk to you, Rupert, uh, as always. That Interesting. But there is something I want to correct that lots of people always think that Nigeria is a Muslim country. It is not a Muslim country. Yeah, um, we've got some parts in Nigeria or some states that are Muslim states, but it doesn't mean that the entire entire Nigeria is a Muslim country. It's not. Actually, Nigeria itself is a, is a Christian country and we uphold Christian values, but we have some states that are Christian, that are Muslims that they still do or practice their religion doesn't mean that every other state will follow suit. So most of the things that people talk about women's rights and the women abuse and what or what not is mostly conducted or mostly done in the Muslim states or Muslim, uh, Muslim parts of the Muslim regions because um, I'm from the Christian side and I'm from the southern part of Nigeria so we don't experience none of that. But again, people should also learn that because it happened in one place don't mean it's happening somewhere else we everybody in fact nigeria as itself i've got um so many ethnicity and languages as well as well as um religion as well but the languages there are three major languages i miss all of the languages that are there we have the evil yoruba and the hausa so the hausa are the people who majorly major majorly practice is muslim so the, the religion doesn't support the women's rights and whatnot and the most the, the yoruba i think the yoruba is just in between kind of in between um, both sides um there are some yorubas that are muslims that also lean towards 
um, some of the values but it doesn't mean that every all the Yorubas are the exact same but again um, it's uh, obvious that Megan is all is the one calling the shot and she's um, the, she always want to control the narrative and also want to be the spotlight or the spotlight shown on her and it's evident many people are saying that her husband Prince Harry is just following that following her and what not but i mean in the both of them i think they're perfect match they fit each other so whatever they do at this point people should just watch and look at them because obviously this is m more for publicity more branding and what not so i mean it's evident anybody who's who, who anybody who's got eyes could, could see it but again many people are asking the purpose of their visit which in all honesty i don't know but let me know what your thoughts are in the comment down below i'm sure tons of people have interesting things to share i would really love you to share that can share the useful information i think might be really helpful make sure to like comment and subscribe and all of that stuff and until next time see you in the next video